Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mike Contextualizes the Universe. We are back. We had completed our entire uh, process of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with my good friend and co-host. Our Alex Murray. Murray. What's up? Yeah. I'm uh, here. My name is Mike. Oh, Mephisto shit. confirmed. Merc it all. Oh, shit. With me, as always, is... <laughs> Our Alex, this is Chaos Magic Murray. Yes, it was Agatha all along. We're talking about WandaVision because it was next in line of... Oh, are you going to dance? Are you going to get up and dance the nope, Agatha? turn it off my fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, production values. Um, yeah, we're fine. We're back. We, we, we yeah. finished all of the MCU. We we it was a crazy time during the pandemic. It's still the pandemic. I'm not saying it's over, but we had this moment of let's just watch all the MCUs and talk about it in the context. And I can talk about what uh, was happening at the as the from the point of view of someone who was following it the whole time. And then Alex could bring his newfound experiences and his um, knowledge his his deep deep knowledge of literature <laughs> and folklore and heroic poetry and ep epic poetry and the, the hero's journey and all of that uh, good stuff that all of these stories are essentially based on. Um, so now we are branching off and we're going to be doing these companion episodes for the Disney plus series and future movies that come out. So it's not, it's few, it's not as regular postings, but it is definitely going to be, um, a lot of content coming at you because we got a lot to talk about. So, our Alex somebody got to watch Mardock and talk about it, right? Yeah, yeah. Might as well be us. I mean, we already started. We might as well just keep going because I genuinely enjoy talking to you about this stuff because yeah, I love it. We have we we disagree. We have differing perspectives, but also like you, we also have different different approaches to receiving the content because as if you for if sure you, if you can tell. WandaVision came out already. Like it was out. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. It, it happened. Everybody now. talked about it. I like basically ignored it because this is what I do. And I was like, all right, I'm I'll watch. Because I mean, like, this is I'll say this. I'll say this to you a little bit before recording. Is that like my note right after episode one is this is why I binge. I could yeah. not like it drove me nuts being in the world after one 30 minutes to what listen to people be like, blah, 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 blah. and I was like, y'all. It's not a, like imagine if 30 minutes into Endgame, everybody got up and left the theater and tweeted about it for a week right. and then went back and watched another 30 minutes. And I'm like, that's just, you know, this is just a very long movie. I mean, it's not. This is the most television show of a television show that's ever been televisioned. Well, it's let's talk about it. Because unbelievably it meta and cool with the. OK, so let's we, ha we have to talk about the elephant in the room of covid fucking up productions, because that's going to be the major context on which everything post 2020 is going to be received. Yeah. Wonder Woman 1984 had come out and people were like, what the fuck is this mess? And it's hard to pretend like covid didn't ruin something. It's hard to pretend like covid didn't ruin the perspective, like the, the perception of it just because we're watching it at home. You know, how much of how many things can be forgiven if you're out in a group? with the hype watching it on a big screen but now we're all at home hunkering down fear afraid of the world afraid yeah. of the air outside of our own living spaces i've said it before man i was at the midnight release of uh the third x-men movie mm -hmm. and when he said i'm the juggernaut bitch the theater went fucking insane yeah. and then the next day in the cold light of day we were all like wait a minute that wasn't good <laughs> that was yeah it's like that could have been handled better um th this is one of those this is one of those like world defining events in terms of pop culture sure. in terms of like all that shit because the like it's like world war ii and yeah. uh, suddenly there's a i can't i can't tell you how afraid i am to for all of the movies that are going to be Oh, there's Real so many. There's ham, so many in post pr yeah. post production right now Hands that are like fisted <laughs> mess like like, and we'll get to that when we get to this Falcon movie Wars called Future. like masks. That's about five different people trying to low, like navigate life in the lower east side of Manhattan. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like, or, or it's going to be something called my something like, restaurant closed down and I don't know what to do. Right. Yeah. It's going to be like the dramatic love story told in the frame of uh, zoom 
work calls. I fell in I love, love with you before I saw your whole face. Yes, it's like it, it'll and it'll be called something stupid like eye contact or something like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they windows the to the your, soul. Yeah, when they took the rest of your face away, all I could see was your soul. You know what I mean? Like some bullshit yeah. like that, and it's and yeah. you know what? It's gonna like fuck. We should just write it. <laughs> It's been written, dude. It's, it's been written. I've seen, I've seen, I can't tell you how many I submitted for a couple. I had agents hit me up about <laughs> stuff. I was just like, yeah, sure, man. I'll be in this bullshit. And like, uh, yeah, no, no, they're, they're coming out left, left, right center nonsense. Yeah. There were some, like, uh, I was in like a thing that was just on zoom calls and it was stupid, yeah. frankly. And it was, and, and look, to be fair, everyone's trying to navigate the medium by like, look at comedy, like all of the comedians and stuff like that, that for, were forced to move to zoom shows for a little while. And I then, started eight podcasts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, we are that. What are we, we, doing? Like, we are that. Yeah. like the, I, the, the, so, so in that is the biggest context we can provide for WandaVision because it was the first Marvel thing to come out post Pen or in with mid pandemic and also like pandemic, yeah. everybody had had plenty of time to catch up on things and I guess I was almost done when it came out right it came out like in between our la last watch of like the last two movies or something like yeah, that so something like that something like yeah that. and and here's the reality it wasn't supposed to be like the release schedule was Black Widow Black Widow was supposed to come out last year before any of the huh. Disney Plus stuff so we're trying to like i mean i haven't seen black widow of course yet but i would say honestly happy accident this is a good thing to like to like to like that we start that we start back into the universe with like what the fuck is going on nobody knows what's going on yeah there's you know like these the, everybody's on the loose people are dead people we don't know what's going you know like this after right because the last thing we've gotten is 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 Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. Right. And then so post Endgame, there was a lot of questions about like, what do you do now? And honestly, in a bigger context, message of the show, this is like when they say the name of the movie in the movie. Um, in the when you're visioning Wanda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the concept of what do you do now for the MCU? Like, how do you build, like we, you've had the biggest movie of all time. Yeah, uh, culminating, you know, dec a decade long of just pop culture phenomenon, tidal waves of of popularity started from nothing, built in a cave with a box of scraps. Yep. And now, what do we have? Like, how, what tools can we use? And and this is the Kevin and and having removed the hurdles that we've talked about in the past of like the the old school thinking in terms of also your big big movie stars are gone. Right. Are, or, the two uh, guys, the at least the two that came out of it hardcore, the two that like, you know, me, mm -hmm. you're you're two massive box office draws. Although Robert Downey Jr.'s powers have not fucking if not uh not all. gone as well without uh uh Iron Man. What do you mean? You like his project? Nobody gave a fuck about Doolittle. <laughs> well, in all fairness, that came out like right as he was doing it. Like it's like yeah. he he that, because people were I think Doolittle should have waited until after he was done. Yep. Because people were still like, that's not Tony Stark. That's or, not, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, whatever it is. He's now, got the wrong beard. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I hate it. The the, But even then, now we're, like, pivoting to where Kevin Feige even himself said, where we have to incorporate and pivot to it, this home, this streaming idea. And this yeah. is before the pandemic. So he was already trying to make this stuff work pre-pandemic. Well, I'm, she's got to have Disney Plus up his ass, too, to be like, we need fucking people to need this app, bro. Well, like, th why? Well, here's the thing. Like, Disney owes him yeah. a ton of, like, like Disney owes so much to um, to Kevin Feige for making this a marketable product worthy of buying. Yeah, they bought sure. it. They put a ton of money into it. And I will tell you this, Disney, I feel, me personally, I think at some point there was a deal between Apple Plus and Apple and Disney to create their streaming services together and it broke apart and that's why there are two 
Huh. Suddenly, everything start starting to be Hulu plus, like like plus, like Disney plus. Well, Apple, this is Apple TV plus. I Hulu mean, plus. to con- contextualize, this is literally what happened thirty years ago with cable TV. Like 100%. cable came out, and it was like everybody can buy it here in a second. Somebody's gonna bundle them all together and sell it to you for fucking like like Time Warner is just gonna bundle it together. I, 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 I'm already getting commercials for it. Speaking of, like, we're going to talk about commercials as magic a lot in yes. uh, here in the next minute. But like, you know, I'm already getting commercials for like, oh, isn't it a pain in the ass that they're all different? Wouldn't you like to just play one easy fee? Seventy dollars a month, and you get everything. That's fucking cable television. So like, great. Yeah, we. I genuinely, I already have it. I have ESPN. I have all the Disney shit. ESPN. Yep. I have Which, Disney, Disney Plus. Disney Plus Hulu. is just a bundle. Is already a bundled one. Yeah. And I have that all on, you know, like price deal, whatever. WWE was fucking around trying to have their own thing for a while. And finally, Peacock was like, come here under our wing, little friends. Come, come, come. Same thing with HBO Max, the Warner Brothers. Cuddle up here next to fucking Michael Scott. Yeah, Yeah, that's where you want to be. Because it's it it is it is the that feeling of bringing the Avengers together. Like there's going to be some lower quality Avengers like in the comics. There were. Like everybody makes fun of Hawkeye. He's got a fuck. He's a human being with Net- a Netflix and about to be the Hawkeye of fucking streaming services. Well, yeah. okay, so let's talk about this this show because it does. So now we've Disney Plus is like kicked off. It was had this weird start until the Mandalorian hit, and the Mandalorian was like their big marquee show in the summer. But then at, and and the Mandalorian, he, the summer of Baby Yoda. I, I just watched that her. like the, the same this was last week. I just watched yeah. the second season of The Mandalorian and WandaVision. It's been a fun week. Yeah, I mean, what else? What else we got to do? It's a thousand degrees outside. The earth yeah, is man. It's too um, hot. I'm dying. Let's watch fucking Boba Fett come back and kill everybody. Rad. Amazing. But that that was like the summer of The Mandalorian, the summer of Baby Yoda. Like everybody was losing their shit. And this was like right at the start of the pandemic where everybody's hunkered down. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and the content creators are bored and can't leave their houses anyway. And they're on un- also everybody's on unemployment. So it's like people can just sit down and like, you've got the time to do it. Yeah. You have the time to make it. I mean, this was honestly, this is why yeah. child's play got kind of weirdly sort of famous for a minute because Adam had the time to sit down and parody whap child's play on the missing sock podcast. Yeah. Network. Check it out. Missing The, the, um, the reality of this of this like first of all it seems almost like kevin feige planned covid and the shutdown because <laughs> it is it does seem pr- what like taylor made for this idea of let's make tv shows yeah, sure. uh, and then as a entryway into tv shows and the t- and and like a longer form format to tell like a mini series style format, which I am a huge fan of. I love, I like them more. Yeah. If if you've ever watched British television, they got like, they'll do like one series and out. And then I'm a big fan of the anime 26 and out thing too. It's like, give me 13 hours of a story. Give me like an 11 hour story and then I'll fuck off. That's great. Let me know. You're going to wrap it up. So I'm not hearing you drag on a story that should have ended two years ago, like the lost or whatever. Um, so Dra- Dragon Ball Z. Exactly. Oh God. Now, why not make the first TV show in the MCU literally about, about TV. TV shows? Yeah. I and how powerful they are and how like we need them to like ignore the tragedy going on. Yeah. The, the distraction of so we're, like, we're all everybody that is desperately you hey guys, masks. You know what masks are? <laughs> they're they're a fucking <laughs> They're a probability hex, motherfuckers. <laughs> like, <It's> literally <laughs> doing the math of like, yeah. Well, it's it's probably going to help you. You know, it's like you're ta- it's like you're you're operating on the idea of like, um. Potential. All I know is there are runes everywhere, and they all say six, and that's something <laughs> happening, man. And somebody's got their fucking magic working hard in in this no. given area in space. <laughs> So uh, let's talk about it. WandaVision uh, released on Disney Plus. January 15th was the first episode. Um, and then it through March. So it was January through March. January 15th? Do you this know? Like a week after shit and before. Oh, my God. Yes. So <sighs> this is the reality. It yeah. Came, there, on the heat, a week after an insurrection. Yeah. With we like 
we were recording at that time. I remember. We I mean, but like, it makes sense that like everybody was just like, nope, go back. I mean, you know what? Honestly, you know what we, d- you know what we were doing and what we have been doing. Like my wife and I, we've had a rule. This is legit. Our fucking coping mechanism was we don't for like most of the pandemic. We don't watch television shows unless they use landlines to call each other. So like we had to go back for like telephones and movies. It was like, let's go all the way back to like, so, you know, friends is on the table. Cheers is on the table, but like, you know, like yeah, it's true. You want to know what, what uh, my girlfriend and I have been like looking into and started watching again, just out of sheer, like, Oh, let's check it out. Miami vice. The oh, sure. Original Miami vice series, like the eighties where you're, we are watching it now as a period piece, which is going to yeah. be relevant to one division, but it wasn't made as a period piece. No, you know it, was I mean? just, it was, it was just of the time. Was, yeah. But now we get to watch it because we live in an era. Well, it's like where, watching the Brady bunch now. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, we live in an era where I remember being a kid. And if you missed something on television, you may have never seen it again. Yep. Yep. There was a possibility that it was gone and gone forever. Saturday night live. Watching Still how I feel about Pete and Pete, man. I should have yeah. fucking recorded all of them on VHS and then digitized it. And like Nickelodeon won't let us have it. And they're like, some people have like, we'll put up shit on YouTube and then it gets taken down. And I'm like, I just want to see him make friends with a squid. It is. It's it again. It is a translation of what is happening with Wanda because yeah. we've, I feel comforted watching. Cause now I can pull. I, I now have layers of memory, right? So I can I have my memory of what Miami Vice was when I was a kid growing up as a kid in Miami. Yeah. And having like my dad be in the Coast Guard and having yeah. my uncle be in the FBI and having like I was in that but as a child where your memories are convoluted and you know like your fant- your magical thinking is at its highest when you're a kid to then be an or, adult if, and be able for to For you maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to then be able to pluck that piece of of pop culture that piece of media and observe it again as an adult in current times with with the with the like the context of everything that's come with it like since then it's it's literally what's happening in this show and it starts off with this i loved it there was so much confusion at the time of airing yeah there was a lot and i understand that and again this is this is like this is why i like i don't like to wait i don't like absorbing things serially i just don't like i want to read the book i want to fucking i want to get all the way through it like i can't one of my favorite uh book series is is um the dark tower by stephen king Mm -hmm. and like i cannot imagine having been one of the people that had to wait 25 years for that fucker to like keep writing it's how i yeah. yeah, Patrick Rothfuss. Here's the do some magic right now. Patrick, sit down. Right. I want to know what happens. To both. George R. R. Martin. I don't care about him and any of that but shit. A lot of people do in that I, sense. That's fine. A lot of people can do whatever they want. I'm doing my magic in my hex, in my world, my runes. Wait, what? Right, yeah, Patrick. Co- <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yes. Will. Yes. Okay. I didn't realize this was a specific. I, I'll email it to Patrick Rothfuss when we're done. Everything any of us do all the time ever is chaos magic, Mike. Okay, so let's get into it because we start we start in with this very little explanation in the fifties, where it's a classic fifties sitcom, very Dick Van Dyke. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Dick Van Dyke. Like, well, it's, it's the not- Honeymooners is the first one. It's more like a Honeymooners and like. Uh, uh, father dearest or whatever and shit. Yeah. Well, it's very I love. I once that when they opened the briefcase and we'll talk about this again. Like I, I was very proud of myself watching the show when her dad opens the briefcase at the end. I was like, ha! I got them all. Yeah. I, I've got them all written down. I so let's see what did I write down for the first one? Uh, and it's in front of a live studio audience. Um, Lucy Dick Van Dyke, and then like like it'll it'll switch into a well, bewitch I believe mode the in the 60s, next one. I believe the 60s one because it starts in the 50s and I yep. believe the 50s was more of like a leave it to beaver yep. you know like there the you go leave it to beaver there yeah. yes and leave then it to beaver. Dick Van Dyke and, and yeah. then the 60s one the next yeah. one felt really Dick Van Dyke it well she felt- wears pants there's a whole thing about the pants yes. yeah yes and she's got a Mary Tyler Moore haircut and like totally the Tyler beds Moore. move together and yeah mm-hmm. Now, in this particular case, those fit they were gonna they shot in the studio like a 50s sitcom with an audience. Dope. That was there, there was a real audience that they were gonna cut to shots of them. They were everyone in the audience was dressed in period 50s cool. attire. Now, here's the thing 
as so like we're assuming you've watched the entire show if you're listening to this these is all yeah, i'm the Wanda's... pace car i i our alex murray is i am the marvel pace car right. if you don't beat me to it then just, yeah. it was your yeah so now we have so you know at if at the end of it that wanda has built all of this with yeah. her just explosive um incredibly powerful cre- hope and life hope and cre- grief yeah. and love and yeah no, but her magic, when it's revealed as to like what it like a, a being with sponta- the, the with the ability of spontaneous creation, that's the line. And yeah. she so basically she can just will the world. All of these people, there was we gotta talk about we got because this is this is an interesting point as well in terms of like switching from a movie to a serialized release. Because um so I, we'll go through the shows and then I'll come back to to what sure. I, my my point. Of, and I try I'll try not to reference too much of it, but um, my name is a clue as to what 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 I'm what my point of that part is. But the idea of like so she creates this world and she's navigating it without realizing that she's she's in charge, almost like when you're in a dream and it's not lucid, where you're just like, yep, you know, like going through. Well, yeah, she's in a. I, I wrote fugue state. It's the beginning. Like this yeah. is very clearly like she doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. She can't help him. And she like we they lock in the they lock in the loop or she's like she's not sure. It's like honestly, you know what it's like? She's in her own writer's room in her head and like yeah. doesn't know it. And so like that's happening and like it's it's having to reboot. Also because she's in the memories from her childhood. And like, you know, I um I uh you know, like she's she's going all the way back to like the the Dick Van Dyke stuff. Um and, and- I'll tell you this, the, 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 also she's in her heart at the beginning. It's all feelings. Mr. Heart shows up. Uh, mm-hmm. There's the heart on the thing. This is all about like your, and my, my early theory was that they were a battery of some sort and somebody was going to be sucking off of their like this, but I mean, I wasn't wrong, but you um, yeah, you weren't technically wrong. I mean, it was, th- th- yeah, was but like, questions. it's all about heart and feelings mm-hmm. and disguises. We get real into, there's the thing with the magazine, uh, like the first magic, the first spell book that we see that comes out is a mm-hmm. glamor magazine, which is a spell book friends, any, a magazine that's full of tips and tricks to make your man fucking come super hard. Cosmopolitan is a magic book. Um, not the best one around, uh, mm-hmm. but that's what it is. And um, yeah, man, the like, forget the past. This is your future. That's there's the like magic spell of the of the first of the first episode. Like, forget the past. For this is where this is where we are. We're gonna sit in this feeling, and yeah. feelings are where we can talk about chaos magic for a minute if you'd like to start there as well. Well, let's um, get to it when it's revealed because sure. we, because at this point we don't know really what's going. There's nothing in the show itself to tell you what's going on yet. Well. Agatha was dressed like a witch the whole time. She was always it was she was nodded at for as dressed like a witch. She was dressed like the the bad mother and bewitched in the second episode. She's wearing a fucking witch hat in the Malcolm in the middle episode. Yes. Um, and uh in even in the first one, she's she's got the like nosy neighbor, and the nosy neighbor is essentially somebody who's like a nosy neighbor is is trying to control. The nosy neighbor in is a like as an archetype is somebody who is attempting to have control but always failing. And that's where we get comedy from a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I don't know. And like they hint they hint real hard. Also, <sighs> I'm, I wasn't under a rock. So I knew something was going to happen with Catherine Hahn. That's the but, thing. Um, you you have uh, you. It's like um, the second viewing like certain certain pieces of media are very good on the second go around because yeah. it re- more is revealed. You have when the way you're taking this media in you're having like the 1.5 yeah viewer you, you know like you're not going in blind but you're not going in with zero knowledge no you've heard the zeit you have the, the but also i'm not going in with zero knowledge because of the bullshit that i've put in my head my whole life all the time because of the magic spells that i do you know right. what i mean like this is like the like I'm I'm paying attention to costumes and hair and makeup and the the magic of everything the like the lens that's been put over it 
um, yet, to make that, us to make us think a thing or to make us not be confused. That's your own personal context. I'm talking about in the world, like yeah, absolutely. I, what I what I had, and I'll say this: what I had was people were just being like, "Oh my God, Catherine Hahn! Oh my God, Catherine Hahn! Oh my God, Catherine Hahn!" And really, that's that was it. And I just was like, "All right," so she's like a big, she's not like a throwaway, and also like, of course she's not. They're not going to get Catherine Hahn up in the MCU and then just have her be a fucking set piece, as had opposed heard, to uh, as opposed to. Song? No, I had not heard the song. How are you on Twitter as much as you are and had not heard the Agatha All Along song? That, I'm that pretty good a... at ignoring things that really? I'm not interested in. And also, like, I like I, I can just, you know, like, get a little piece of it and scroll past. But no, I had not heard Agatha All Along. Um, I But like, but also, like I said, by episode three, I was like, she's in charge of everything, especially when she like, could, you know, controlled dude and like looked at him and, and stopped. Um, and also like, she's just not, she doesn't, she was the only person who didn't seem who, who, uh, who Wanda never like affected. Wanda didn't rewind her. Wanda didn't, uh, you know, like, and she was sort of, she popped up when she wanted, as opposed to when Wanda wanted her to. Um, yes, you're right. You're not, but I do believe that there's like a, there's like a, a mix of the power there, especially in the sense of like when she was like, cause she was pretending to like in the uh, Halloween episode when she's in the car and pretending yeah. to be, he vision unlocks her, but yeah. she's already unlocked. So like they, they made, they had made like a nod to that. And I was like, a bit like while I was watching it, I was like, she's faking. Yeah. Uh, and like, really? no, I'm not patting my own back. Yeah, man. She's wearing a fucking witch costume. And she'd been wearing witch costumes the whole time. I think, I think it's uh, so. I, I will tell you this. This is what I. This is what I actually thought. Here's this. This was my big thought that that I was wrong about. I thought she was. I thought she was Wanda. I thought she was an alternate consciousness. And I thought what we were going to get was uh, at the end of the Walnut episode of Dick Van Dyke, you wake up and it was all a bad dream. I thought that it was just going to be Wanda fighting a bad version of herself that she had manifested mm. in the hex so that she could, it was basically like a whole thing was a fugue state for her to do battle with her own brain and like, let it go. I mean, it was just going to be the six stages of grief right. for her with well, like against this like manifested being. Well, and let like, me, let me tell you this, that is, mm, that would be a big, big, big stretch. Um, like an unbelievable stretch. If, if you because you don't know the comics and you don't if you don't know who Agatha Harkness is in right. the com in the comics. I don't. And that she is a very important character to uh, um, um, Wanda Maximoff to Scarlet Witch in the Clearly. comics. There's. I don't a think we're done with her. She's she's there. She's in Westville. No, no, no. Like yeah, trapped. But even if we were done with her, the comic books like Agatha, there's no way she wouldn't have been. There's no way she would have been Scarlet Witch. She would she would have been uh like her own character. So sure. Knowing what I know about that, I did not have that thought at all. That's fair. And that's that's just coming at it from different contexts. I do think you might be dismissing the cultural zeitgeist power, in 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 knowing that they're like just. It's like when someone tells you they're Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not just I'm not dismissing it. Like well, you're looking you're looking for the I was looking for the twist. Right. Yeah. You when someone tells you there's oh, there's going to be a plot twist. That in and of itself is a spoiler because now you're not Yeah, you're, you're looking for the twist. Everything. Yeah, you're not just watching it and letting it happen. But also like I wasn't watching this and letting it happen anyway cuz I was so balls deep. Honestly, if if anybody if I could identify with a character in it, it's Darcy. Somebody who has been who has Great. been balls deep in the whole universe, somebody who like understands these things and somebody who's very much like, oh, all right. Well, there's a weird wave in there. Well, let's look at that hmm, right. fucking TV show. And like, you know, who's just like who like gets bamfed in and is very like just takes it in stride. And um, so we so in the in the first episode, there's no reveal. There's no kind of like, question. which is great. It was so cool. Just the, like, the, well, there's and then at the let's second talk about the commercials, let's yes. talk about the commercial because in okay. the first one, because that's let's 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 follow the episode format. So there's the yep. episode what happens with the whole there's an event and the family and there's the yeah, breakfast for dinner is the dinner. big one of the first one. And it's yeah. about like learning how to control your powers and like be sitting in your feelings and being in love with vision mm -hmm. and having how a very Happy Paul home. Bettany. Paul Bettany, so great in this series. Paul so Bettany, great. Just does again for the millionth time. Like I can't believe that this asshole like went in for two days of VO work in 2008, and then like got to do this 
really cool, weird meta, and then ends up having a fucking thought experiment battle with himself in a library floating yeah. around. It's like so good. Yeah. Um, and the second and the first episode was the toaster yep. done in the 50s format where it's very presentational. There's a woman showing off. The it was also it was. Oh, sorry. And it was also the first time you see a bit of color yep. in the show because of the light. And there were so many things. Okay, let's get into what I was. I want to say that what the, about the first commercial too is the toaster. It was Stark Industries, mm -hmm. so like it's Stark, and like now once you get to the end, that's of course because that goes all the way back to the beginning. It's the fucking missile, right? Like that's yep. the missile. That's the first thing she did magic on, and uh, and also it's it's the blinking light on the toaster is the blinking light from the missile that she mm -hmm. did the 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 magic to. And but it's sound, also the sound yeah. is the same as yep. the missile. Maybe. And oh, I didn't notice that. That's dope. Yeah. And uh, and then, but I also like that it was very much about doing something. The commercial was geared to a woman to please a man to do something for someone else. So like, it was all about like this is it's like we also do a a very short like um almost Walter White from uh, Breaking Bad arc where like she starts out as I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you and mm. doing this for you. And she has to get to, I was doing this for me and it's not fair. Right, um, right. And uh, yeah, but she's just very much like, I'm doing this for you. This is for vision. I'm saving you. I'm bringing you back to life. That was the, the and but again, none of that is revealed then. So let's just go through the episodes. Don't sure. touch that dial. The sixties, there was the, um the the kind of humor in the magic show that there that that uh, the big uh follows the gum the i want to talk about like the a magic show is a ritual of like of like misdirection about how like mm -hmm. fake magic is real magic because you're making people feel something mm -hmm. um and that's real uh and then also this is better isn't it is the big i think i would say magic spell that that someone casts mm. uh from that one and then we're solidly in bewitched at this point like this when agatha yeah. this is like agatha shows up and she's just dressed like the fucking stepmom in bewitched and you're like all right the house that they yeah. film in is the bewitched house uh yeah the i noticed that, they show that from too. the outside I noticed that too. I want there's a couple other things like that we'll get to that I want to know if like if you can confirm or deny some like sure. set pieces. Also like this is when like people from other sitcoms like famous sitcom faces start showing up, which is fun. Um uh, and that just might just be actors like Dottie is from Buffy and uh oh, um, yeah, I mean yeah, there's but that's just going to happen because yeah. But so, um so we're going to go through these quick. So to yep. not to, and then we'll go back. Yep, 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 yep. Don't touch that dial 60s. The commercial is for the Strucker watches, which now talks about how Hydra is yeah. a representation of Hydra in her life. And her getting, yeah, fuck and with. Then, and then also, and this is the episode where she becomes visibly pregnant. Yep. Um, like It's also the, the one where we see her rewind something and control something. The red helicopter. The color. Uh, it's when we see the dude come up out of the thing at the end. Yes. And she goes, no, and rewinds it. She goes, it. no, and yeah. rewinds it. Then we get the episode three and you get. Oh, can we just say seven. also just did just I would just want to say the name Dave Metzger, who did all the music, who deserves. Yes. The the theme songs are incredible, hit, like hit. Un unbelievable. The intros. Yeah. And uh, the, he, he had a partner in that as well. And I can't remember her name. Um, yeah. I, I, it's a disservice that I can't remember her name because it's true. Like that whole Wanda vision. They're unbelievable, man. The, the first of the, I like about jumped out of my seat when the Malcolm in the middle one came on. I was like, yes. yes. Um, Christopher. Da, 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 da. Um, uh, Robert Lopez, Christina Anderson Lopez are the writers for their songwriters and lyricists. Okay. And they were the ones that have written the theme songs the theme for the songs. series episodes. Fucking right. sick, man. Rob they were great and then um let's see let's see shackman uh the guy who run like the showrunner he referenced do you remember too many cooks yeah from a, on adult swim yeah that aired, oh yeah like, two how could i forget cooks, yeah too it was amazing cooks. it was so weird it's like this bizarre sketch thing it was it's it a was, tv it's a 80s tv intro that goes on for 20 minutes yes exactly yeah. Um, so there's, there's actually a lot of really specific stuff on the Wikipedia and, and in the behind the scenes stuff for the music of the show, because it was also unbelievable, like, unbelievable and creating like the, the, 
there's everything the on costume the show. designs out of control. Good. There's so much meta in this yeah. show about creating the feeling of being in the era by literally okay. making a show about creating and I the feeling of being in. The and era. I want to say again for a millionth time that is an in invocation, and that is how you invoke spirits to use their power to move your personal zeitgeist forward. And I really feel like WandaVision was Paul was Feige doing all that as a massive magical ritual to push mm. us all to give a shit about this next phase of the MCU. Right, right. Well, also, um, that's that's. There's many layers here, and then we'll get to. So now in color was when we yep. see pregnant Maxima. Uh, yep. Uh, now old. we're in the 60s, 70s. Now we're in like Brady Bunch, Brady, Brady, totally Bunch, Brady Bunch, Brady Bunch, yeah. and even like yeah, there's some Mork and Mindy vibes, and yeah, all of it. Absolutely, absolutely. And then there's the um, she delivers the babies. They, the um, Geraldine, which is um, um, Monica Rambo. Yeah. Uh, um yeah throwback from captain captain uh, marvel uh, uh, my name just uh, da, 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 da. tiana paris who is awesome by the way she was she's great, great. In this too. um and then so everybody was awesome jimmy i have Wu, questions about the her fucking at the randall end. park character amazing. the bad guys really goddamn good too yeah. the um the director of sword is whatever his mm -hmm. name is he's mm -hmm. a great great good Great, great, good white guy, bad guy, villain. <laughs> Absolutely, the the because we'll get so uh, that one they give the birth to the baby. Geraldine is involved, and then she blows her out of the house. And um, this is when we see like, cracks start to form too. Yes. And this is when we see Vision start to be like, "This is weird." And yeah, right. And and Vision is starting to piece it together too. And then in this one, you get he's evolving as a machine, which I thought was really cool. As we're yeah. talking about layers, like the idea of being a sentient machine gets bigger, as opposed to like him eating a piece of gum and it like going into the gears and his and making him drunk. Like what a machine is gets different. Right. Um, yeah. Um, and then the commercial was for the Hydra Hydra soap powder. Soap this is also thing. when I noticed that we're, I mean, and I imagine where most people notice that like the woman in the commercials is the same weird psychic projection. And, of, yeah. Uh, I thought and it was the, Judy Greer for a while, but it's, of no, course it's not, but it's, it's whoever the actress is. There was a lot of speculation we'll say. And that's, yeah, okay. that's foreshadowing what I'm going to talk about later. Uh, the, uh, next one. The next episode was where we finally get into the quote yeah. unquote real world. And it starts off with that scene where about because they talk about the blip in Spider-Man about when everybody comes back. But they don't show it in the way that it, it, this was like they talk about it. Ha ha ha. I showed up in this my the apartment and yeah. uh, Aunt May was like, oh, they thought I was the mistress or whatever. And then it was like jokey jokey. This was like viscerally yeah. frightening. It was when hard. you see Monica Rambo come back together in a hospital, yeah, and suddenly everybody's like, "Could you imagine? Like, yeah. what the like? The we don't have the capacity and the like. Yeah, like it was nice to see the like. I mean, we got a little bit of the goofiness, yeah, in Spider Man, right? But like, mm -hmm. it was silly and like they the marching band was back on the court and stuff. And mm -hmm. but like, yeah, in a hospital misery, and also like that means all the sick people, the sick people that were just like in beds came back. People must have like manifestly like ooh, weird. Right. And that's when you hear the screen. Like, could you imagine? Like, that's yeah. so crazy. And then imagine Monica Rambo learning her mom died and all this yep. stuff. And then it starts to piece the what 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 we've been doing, watching the show week to week. It starts piecing it together for it within the show. Like, what the fuck is going on? My and big that, note for this one was, oh, OK, now we're watching a Marvel show. And like, I also, if I recollect, week four was about the time that people stopped being mad. People were like annoyed on the internet and people were like, I don't like this. It's making me think and I hate it. And I won't, it's, I won't tell me what's, what it's doing. And where. yeah. So well, like, they dropped the first two episodes at the same time. Okay. And then by the third one, people were like, explain yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and they did, they kind of did. And then every, and then that's when you start getting, you get this, the support. Well, the last stuff. line is it's all Wanda. Yeah. Jimmy Woo, Darcy Lewis, who we've had character development. She's a doctor now. She yeah. was the intern, and now she's a fucking yep. astrophysicist. Yep. Um, Monica Rambo, and then the director, the acting director Tyler Hayward, basically telling 
Monica about how awesome her mom was. Yeah. Also, was a very big thing for the Captain Marvel situation with mm -hmm. the the Brie, the Brie Larson Captain Marvel because. Again, if you know a little bit about the comics, you know that Monica Rambeau is also Captain Marvel at some point. And, okay. Um, well, yeah. Thanks, asshole. No, 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 no. <sighs> the, the, the. That's the thing is that in this show, you're watching the origin of another. I don't know if she's gonna. Okay, be that makes Marvel. sense. No, was that that's what I mean. I assumed that after she had her DNA written by the most power by like a living piece of the Soul Stone three times and like was stopping bullets and shit that and like was standing there at the end that yes. she still got some superpowers. You're watching, but well, you're watching that development in her in this show. Yeah, and uh, so she's she's, which also begs the question of like, how and and, and as it's going, how these um, also while she's getting to be friends with with uh, Agatha. No, 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 Agnes. Wu and uh and Darcy. What's right, right. what's Wu's real name? Wu Randall Park. Randall Park. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, Wu yeah. is his name in the show. Jimmy um, Wu. Yeah. 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 Jimmy Wu. I'm From sorry, Jimmy. Jimmy Woo just sounds like the actor's name to me. Like Jimmy Woo just sounds like a, a guy who's in movies and yeah, I mean, would play would play FBI director Randall Park. Like they're just backwards to oh, me, and so I keep doing yeah, I keep doing this. Well, to me, he's he'll always be Asian Jim because uh, he was <laughs> he was on the office as he as part of the prank that. Uh, oh God, was, yeah, he was. That was he's, him. Wasn't he's it? Jim Halpert. Yeah, and he's yeah, like, that's oh, great. Wow. Congrats to you for not seeing race. And then he's like, what's going on? <laughs> uh, the so we get um, the we interrupt this program. It's the all of the outside of the the hex. That's where we learn it's a hexagon. Yep. Everything is six sided. Everything has to do with um, this force field around yep. this New Jersey town. Well, and also, like, that's one of those things, too, is, like, the hex. Like, that's on the fucking nose. Like, there's yep. a big magic spell. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um, and then they learn that it's all cosmic uh, background radio, cosmic uh, magnetic background radiation. Also, I do want to say that I, I wrote this down. Like, my notes are fucking insane for the first three. Like, there's just tons and tons and tons of it, especially me being like, magic, 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 magic. This is invocation. This is, uh, th like, I'm just like, what's like labeling chaos magic spells all the way through them. And uh, and then, like, episode four, I see that Randall, Randall um, fuck, Randall Woos got a, <laughs> Randall Woos. got a, Got a uh, yeah, Jimmy FBI has got a big whiteboard, and I was like, "Oh, okay, they're gonna do this for me. I can stop." <laughs> like, I can, like my notes get very chill after that. Yeah, because it's not like Memento or something where like you, what does it mean to you, man? You know, like it's yeah, not a Chris yeah, yeah. Nolan bullshit thing. They do, they which do it felt like the inner. I just like that's what I remember from the internet of people just being like, "Ah, oh. yeah, yeah." <laughs> and so, for me, I was like, "This is fun as hell," yeah. and like, yeah. You well, that's the, the, again that has to deal with how you consume content versus yeah. the way I consume content. Because then we get to the '80s episode on a very special episode. Sure, um, the, there was so many little details of. Were they in the Were they in the Full House house? No, but it was built to look. It looked like, a lot like all, the Full House house. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 they so they try to make it look very '80s, and. Um, uh, that's when you see that now she's got her kids and her kids are getting older and they start to have manifesting superpowers and, and blah, yep. blah, 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 blah. And then there's she also showed up with exactly the thing we need. Uh, you can't control them is I think was going to be is Harkness is like, is, uh, her big magic spell at this point. Right. Um, and then you start to see more cracks in vision. Vision is yeah. starting to suspect a lot more. That was that big uh, moment in the seventies episode where uh, Agnes is like, no, don't, uh, yeah. You know, don't, don't do tell it. her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we also have uh, the poor dead dog. And that's Aww. also, we get the commercial of um, uh, WandaVision advertising La Lagos paper towels, which is yeah. the scene we in civil war where she blows up that, building and yeah. is, that's the Lagos incident but then this one ended on the moment where Quicksilver shows up yep her brother shows up but it's she not, recast him yeah it's yeah. not the Quicksilver that we know it's the Quicksilver from the Fox fucking movies also oh is that who he is it's the Quicksilver, the Quicksilver from Fox from that's the fucking movies. funny I haven't seen I didn't have that I also People, don't know who the actor is hey big Alex Stein energy right yeah 
Alex Stein. Oh, yeah. I like. I was watching the Alex Stein, the are the DM in uh, the Missing Forest Sox Dungeon, show, uh, Missing Forest Sox Dungeon. Dungeon. Check it out. Um, yeah, I was watching and I was like, oh man, Stein would have been great. Um, he's, oh, well. uh, but he's not Quicksilver. He is not the he like genuinely. The, some of the best parts of the Fox X Men movies, like Days of Future Past and um, uh, Apocalypse and stuff, yeah. are his Quicksilver moments. So he is recognizable to the fans of those movies. As and then when he shows Quicksilver. up in the MCU movies, as, there's also that moment of like, does Wanda know this? Yeah. Who is this person to Wanda? And the internet fucking exploded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's crossing because because Disney Marvel Studios now owns the rights to the 20th Century Fox Marvel movies. OK, so the X-Men, they own the rights to the X-Men. Again. Oh, boy, we could get a real weird stuff going here in a minute. It's Are they going to try already. it? They're going to suck all of them in. I love it. Let's you go. don't you haven't seen uh Falcon and the Winter Soldier. No, nope. and um, we'll get there. I'm going to bl- I'm going to blast through them. We'll be there. Right. soon. But but with the the listener having knowledge of what's what's going on in loki right now you don't have that so i i don't want to get into it but there's there i i haven't missed the word nexus in the happening in the world so like and that we get some of that in in Mm -hmm. this here in a minute yeah and then we get at the one of my favorite moments in this episode of the 80s one is when they have the showdown where uh wanda's trying to roll credits and vision's like yeah he's still talking I yeah. do not and there's like the whole thing of it starting to kind of fall apart a little bit and then they had that square off where they just kind of all of a sudden just fly there's that moment yeah. of like whoa yeah hold on and be like holy shit um and then it like kind of calms down on stuff and there's the end then there's the next episode is the Halloween episode, which is just, I mean, top to bottom, an unbelievably good episode of meta ass television. I, I lost it. I don't know how you feel about Malcolm in the middle. It is one of my top five favorite television shows of all time. One of it's the incredibly good. Uh, very funny. Like, and like that it started off with the kid, like Frankie Muniz right into the camera. Poor Frankie Muniz. God damn. I can't believe he doesn't he's remember. A, he's had a struggle, man. Poor guy. Doesn't remember making the show. Sucks. Um, yeah. Be careful. Don't get hit in the head. Well, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, he still did it. And he's still, I guess, it must be weird. I wonder if he just watches it. <laughs> like, well, um, it's also where we get Brian Cranston. Yep. Like being a, just an amazing comedic actor. And he's that's why so his, fucking good His turn show. in Breaking Bad was like such a big pivot. And we yep. were all blown away because yep. of how funny Hal is. And, yep. and what a good, just a good also commentary well, on like, the time of that 90s. Well, and they pulled it well and why this is good. And I think why they used Malcolm in the Middle is because Malcolm in the Middle is the television show that's going to pull us out of this three camera shit. And it's going to give us it's going to move us towards freaks and geeks and making movies prime, making TV primetime premiere TV single camera. and shooting single camera, shooting them like a fucking movie. Mm-hmm. And it's going to go to eventually to breaking the fourth wall here in a minute. I want to say this. I'm pretty sure at this point, I want to say I'm almost positive that they shot that Westview is stars hollow. Um, pretty sure that they use the same town square and back lots for Gilmore girls. Um, oh, like the sounds, the town set up the same way that bank is the same. The corner store is the same. The uh, gazebo is the same. And I'm like, I'm almost positive uh, that, um, that, yeah, that's the, that that's the where they shot it, which is I'm like again, sure. like it just feels like feels like such like TV. And if if they didn't do actually do it there, then they had to know what they were recreating, right? Um, like they were trying to like it. Fe- it feels like uh, I mean that's the thing is like they found they found Creek this they whatever. found this town yeah. for star- that Stars Hollow, Connecticut that feels like a fake fake i mean it's a real place and they basically just took it over for eight years to film goma girls in it and they uh they uh they but they just like found a tiny town square that they were like this is fake this is so idyllic that it's like it's it's fake and that's what of course westview is it's like this old busted up beautiful piece of americana that has Mm -hmm. had has has gone to shit and she can go and do her magics on well to be fair like the the reveal at the end of like who these people really are does 
kind of contrast against like the idyllic like it's not nice you know that town is not a nice town no you know what i mean it's like all fucked up but in this episode we well have- it's worn down it's yeah. past its prime it's a thing that's that's old and we don't know what to do with it next right. so let's fucking do some magic on it and make it like glamours to make it look and seem better than it was. This is also like a rest, like a reckoning that we're having with television in general. As millenniums get obsessed with friends, and you go back and watch friends and be like, wow, this was just like crammed homophobia down our and like problematic. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. We're we I'm rewatching it again for the millionth time, and they're always punching up. They're always making fun of Ross for being homophobic. They're not making fun of gay people. Mm. Um and well, I think there's more also I think the there's plenty of problems with it. There ain't the no ding ding. Person. It's yeah. just white people. Yeah, yeah. In New York, like nothing but white people. But anyway, the, the most privileged of white people. Yeah. Um, and it's but it's like it's so it's uh it's yeah, there's lots of stuff there. Right. So I'm just saying like we're, we're reckoning with, with all of it, man. We're reckoning with our love for television and nostalgia and like also our our need to move forward, our desperate need to move forward as a culture like this is. This was the perfect show for the MT- MCU to come back with. The the idea of the Halloween episode also being yeah, advanced dude. to have costumes on top yep. of costumes yep. is one of those is one of those things also that was incredibly meta. The more you think about it, and then the also well, seeing- and Vision's very it lets us like that's how Vision looks in the comic books. Like it's just yeah. straight up how he looks in the comics, and like how Wanda looks in the comics, and she's a Sokovian fortune teller. Quicksilver dressed like Quicksilver, but dressed like Quicksilver. And and it's and also Wigan. when the kids the kids get their powers, which again, here we go, ready, chaos magic invocation. What you do you put on the costume and you the costume gives you the power it's a batman thing we go in like uh, that's like a super beat to death in batman is that like you you to face the fear you put that you become it Mm -hmm. um and like we've talked about this with super a ton on this show with like superhero costumes and how we do it all the time like you get up in the morning and you put on your fucking superman shirt so that you can Every time you fly, right? Like you, you realize in, in meteorites on this show that you're like, oh shit, I put on my fucking. I always have a invincible I flying a man travel. shoot yeah. every, every shirt every time I go flying. Yeah, and which is true. of course why people f- are gonna fucking come to you. Why you get people ask you for help and stuff all the time, like because that's that's who you've invoked and that's the energy that you're carrying around with you. To be fair, and yeah, yeah. You're right. And then in, in this particular case, the costumes are also kind of a distraction That's, of. So this is when the kids get their power. Sorry, this is my point. The kids oh. put on the one son puts on the Quicksilver costume and gets Quicksilver powers. And the other one puts on the fucking Wanda costume and gets Wanda powers. Now, do you like again, outside of this particular piece of media, those characters exist in the comic books and they have. um they have to do with what's going to happen next. Yep. So like, well, I, well, I did, I did stick around for the bump at the end. Almost didn't because there weren't bumps on the first couple episodes. Yeah. And then I almost didn't. And I missed the bump. I think I got them all. I think the first bump is the one where uh, Quicksilver grabs. What's her name? There's just bumps yeah. from the last. Three. Yeah. There's, okay. Well, there's a couple, there's some mid credit stuff. Um, and then the, the, the issue with these is that these characters are, like the show, these shows, the ones I'm sure you're aware of, the, the Falcon and Winter Soldier and the Loki, yeah, 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 and yeah, the yeah. shows that are going to come out on, on Disney Plus. Yeah, stay, are, stay tuned, friends. I'll, I mean, like, give me like two yeah. weeks for Falcon yeah, and the Winter Soldier. But um, what I'm getting at is that they're like the fact that you know more is coming and they announce the 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 runs of like we're gonna get this and we're gonna get this. Means Dog, you that, sat me down and read them all out to me when we did that YouTube thing like yeah. months ago. Which you can go back and you I, go I really I don't I want to go back in like a year and watch that and yeah. be like what the fuck <laughs> yeah um of all of the shows that people were expecting this one WandaVision was one of the most like unknown like the yeah. unknowns of this show well this but is I, I was I think as, I hold on. but as the, but as I what as the show kept that came out is that the what was being revealed slowly kind of pivoted what all of the following announcement stuff could mean yes because we know what like if you if you were paying attention to the announcements like we like i was and make forcing you to be (laughs) i the you know that wanda they announced it at comic-con is part of the next doctor strange movie sure i mean all about almost have to be yes and then you know that 
that we is- get a sorcerer supreme reference like basically that she's like a living bit of the soul stone and like more powerful than the sorcerer supreme and yeah and you get the so now the title of that doctor strange movie is the multiverse of madness yeah. so what it does is now we have this one universe that we've been dealing with branching off into other universes how does it manifest itself boom we give you this wanda fueled tv fucking weirdness where like oh anything can happen literally the world well, we've is written we've like, talked a lot about like genre the all the movies being genre movies right mm-hmm. up till now too and now it's like well yeah you're giving yourself the ability to just fucking reskin anything mm-hmm. which is fun and the and mul- like so multiverse of madness is going to be is directed by sam raimi so it's going to be a, dope. It's been referred to as a Marvel horror film. Into it, all so all of these things, like what it, what it, I, I met, like when as we, God, the swings they can take now, as the, right? As, as the as the as the shows have been coming out, and as more stuff gets revealed, for me, the metaphor I always go to is that a picture being brought into focus. Yep. Right. So you can see the loose shapes, and as things get more and more focused, like the as we're and in this show the picture within the show is getting more and more like detailed and we learn more and more. And as the episodes, like, like the Halloween show, we realize that Wanda is in fully control of all these people, the kids, the yeah. fact that she's controlling the kids. And then when yeah. someone breaks, they're like, please give me my kids. Yeah. It's, it's real. The, uh, the fucking, the woman hanging up the thing on repeat and just crying, like really was rough. Yes. Yeah. The reveal of that. All of this is not, the 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 pure a uh, happy go lucky thing that that Wanda believes it to be and then we get into the next episode of the breaking the fourth wall wait, wait, okay so i want to i want to there's we have to mention the commercial in the yeah. halloween episode one because it was like the most perfect 90s stop motion like I, it, it made me want to buy a watch him call it you know what i mean yeah. it made me want to go get some fucking uh uh fruit uh fruit by the foot or hubba bubba or some shit a lot of the, the things Trix i watched yogurt. Yeah. Remember Trix yeah yogurt it was a yogurt commercial yep yeah yep yeah man and like but the like the idea of like so hungry will eat anything and like this wink at the audience that's like us us watching it and absorbing it and streaming it and needing it because like God, that was how life felt in January. Was just like so hungry. I'll eat anything, right. any piece of hope, please. God, fuck. Shut up, Rudy Giuliani. Shut your stupid mouth. <laughs> All of you, uh, yeah, the, the worst, a uh, worst part of everything, and also the uh, the fact that a snack the for survivors, solution, I believe, is what they said it was. It's just the like solution oh. to the problem of eating the yogurt was just opening it and yeah. having everything in your hands and being unable to open yeah. the solution, you know, like it was such a, tr- and he just, he fucking he dies, dies. Yeah. The little kid dies and he turns into a skeleton. Yeah. The shark doesn't even eat him. The shark no. has nothing. It's like, what the fuck is going no, on? No, you don't need to worry about the sharks. The sharks are the problem. And like the, the problem is you dealing with your shit, which is again, why I was like, I were, I, where I thought that perhaps like she was just doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we get to the uh, the the like modern breaking the family, fourth wall. Yes, well, the fourth they're in the wall. modern family kitchen. That's I'm yeah. currently watching Modern Family. That's the kitchen that they're in. I don't know if they <laughs> use the same set, but like I think they use the same set. Like it's the Modern Family house that they're in for this one. Mm. Um, it's pretty great. And so this is where we get the fact that you could just see that that Wanda's also drained. Like she is. There's so much of her. Yeah, she's, she's so she tired. needs a day. Yeah. She's definitely. I think I want to say also. Um, Olsen. Wow, Elizabeth, she's done um, such a good job in this show. Everyone, unreal. like people talk shit about. Look, Stephen Dorff just came out and said some shit about the MCU movies. How he's embarrassed for the actors on the MCU. It's like, first of all, Stephen Dorff, who the fuck are you? Also, be- he was in three of them, so he can shut the fuck up. Yeah, you're in Blade. Fuck you're in you. Blade, and Blade kicked ass. And what are you talking about? You, you wanted to be a naughty vampire god. Shut up. Yeah. Some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate uphill. Yes, that's you, Stephen Dorff. Yeah, dude. But the acting on this, especially as we get into the later episodes of the season of, of the series, where it's like they're putting it work. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Layers on layers on layers. And again, what? like Han's doing so much. God, I love and her. Every episode of this show is directed by Matt Shackman, who has like a long pedigree of stuff. You, you can go look up. He's got he's done a ton of writing, a ton of, on great shows. 
and now he like he's piecing together this world i recommend everybody go watch the like um on itunes or the the whatever they have like the the, the bonus footage the extra stuff the blu ray the dv all that stuff it just goes to show you how much the people who are making this loved the detail that went into it and oh, made everything. The perfect. whole thing was like, again, I mean, it was a love, it was a magic ritual, love story, reboot television. Like the, the, I mean, like also like, come on, I, I'm not, this isn't a stretch. Like how, how many times have like people referred to, I mean, the magic lantern is what the, the a movie projector was called mm -hmm. for the long time. Like the whole thing, like the first time people saw a film, right? Like they thought the train was going to come out of the wall and everybody jumped up and screamed. You, are you aware of that? Oh, the, yeah, first the first time yeah, anybody yeah. showed anybody a motion picture that like it was a train coming at the camera and everybody lost their fucking mind because they thought a train was going to hit them. Yeah. And like, like this is it's magic. Like it's I mean, Walt Disney's whole shit is the Magic Kingdom. Like this is mm -hmm. all all about creating something that isn't there. Right. Uh, and and the and it's almost like the less cynical you are, the more the powerful the magic is for I, you i i you just said such a fucking mouthful about anybody who's trying to actually do magic yeah. or i'd say like or like prayer uh anything yeah. um i mean fuck uh, if you're a scientist the less cynical you are and more excited you are about getting down in the hadron collider and fucking shit up like you know yeah. einstein was not a cynical dude neither, neither was niels bohr like you know they were happy excited explorers that like wanted to push frontiers and be intense like yeah these are yeah. all magicians and wizards. Galileo was pumped. <laughs> he was like, they're, yeah, they're they're the discovery of all of this is like magic, you know, like it's like yeah. learning, like the, that's the the whole as I think it's Asimov thing, or who who was it that said the technology like uh, that that you can't explain is equal to magic or something? It's yeah, a similar. Phrase. It's been over and over and over again, but that's Asimov, yeah, yeah, and then it's, in magic in, is just science we don't understand yet. Is the that's you're what it for. is? Yeah, yeah. Um, so now we're also getting the so this the episode called breaking the fourth wall we're getting the breakdown of wanda's world we're getting the breakdown of the fact that the sword the sword organization has um walls to prevent certain people from knowing certain things there's hidden information there's the wall the literal hex that people can't get into anymore yeah and that we're that we're they're trying to break through the like the the idea of well creating and then the, the commercial is uh a, for like a numbing agent too that like keeps it's you an antidepressant yeah. called nexus nexus yeah. yeah and we also get i know a... i also know about nexus because we used it here i'll just keep plugging shows we we uh we used it in the title for a um for a mystical zanya episode last oh, week right. yeah, yeah. yeah yeah um and then in the next episode because i was get... screaming and yelling about how we were at the nexus of all reality we manifested a thing where like we did a we we had a we had a, a like a, a strip about the soul tree and yggdrasil and stuff and paul was mm. like dude you didn't even know how much you're talking about what everybody's talking about right now which yeah. is pretty fun and and that's that's again the power of the zeitgeist you know the like cultural zeitgeist i'm gonna try and get i'm gonna try and get caught up so we can like the, the whatever comes out after loki it'll just be us going talking to see about stuff. it yeah yeah um, so then we get the next episode, the, the backstory episode previously on. Yep. And then, uh, it talk it shows you yep. the Agatha Harkness's background. It shows you, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. The previous episode is where we get the breaking the fourth wall, where we finally get the Agatha Harkness reveal. Yeah. They, at the very end, it's Agatha all along. It was Agatha all along. And I killed Sparky too. Such a... That shit was all over fucking social media. People were, it was like, it, it went, it was like you could see it, uh, download it on iTunes or stream it somewhere. And it was like the most streamed song. People were just so like, funny. What? Based on, it sounded like the Munsters, you know, yep. like it was absolutely. I mean, like she, because she is, she is a fucking TV classic witch. I love that they doubled down on that too. And I don't know if that's a comics thing, but I love it. Bitch looks like she walked out of Hocus Pocus in the final battle. Like it's great. A hundred percent. And I, I kept that. That was such a fucking the black earworm. Fingers. Yes. The black, the, the magical. Leashes well, I'd like leashes. to talk about purple power for a moment if we could. Versus the red, the scarlet power. Versus well, the purple where else power? have we seen purple power? The power stone in the MCU. Well, where else? Who drinks purple power? Purple power seems it's the it's if you want to fucking trade powers back and forth and give it and receive. The only other way we know of to do it easily is to fucking drink them goddamn purple flowers in Wakanda. 
oh, right. that seem to have yeah, something yeah. to do that seem to be fucking the grow. It seems to manifest from vibranium, which mm. is like like magic from outer space that was like just randomly given to Earth. And so there's something was I found it interesting that this like real magic mm. for lack of a better term, right? Like magic mm. and like also the like I mean like like the black panther's power are magic they're not mutants that's not science i mean it's it is science because we you have to assume that it's a naturally made super serum that sure, just sure. does the same fucking thing that like because nature made it it's better just like um you know smoking weed's not gonna fucking is is smoking weed is better for your system than the k2 right some synthetic right. some real, synthetic yeah, bullshit the, mm-hmm. um the fucking from the earth baby the purple powers from the earth seen rasta ja rastafari and uh <sighs> Uh, and uh and but i thought it was cool that they made her power and like purple power just tends to be like kick-ass half dark half light right like it's uh yes. sam sam jackson's lightsaber that's um, actually in the episode because when she is being like challenged like like burned at the stake yeah that reveal of like oh great it's not scene. that she's getting burned at the stake it's that the witches are like you're fucking shit up for us because right. you're doing dark magic. Yeah. Everyone is doing uh blue magic. Yep. And she Which absorbed- is Captain America magic, friends, if we're all playing Captain along America at home. Magic, it's good magic. Which is and power power magic, right? Blue which stone which stone's blue? It's space. It's oh cool. Space. I don't no, know if it translates cool. I don't know if it translates directly, but Has what to. I'm getting at is because that- because it does. They're there on screen and the powers of the colors are the same, so it must. Well, the Wanda's magic is red, and it's it's chaos magic, which yeah. is a thing that I believe to be like the gray Jedi, the people like the unformed power, because it doesn't have a good or a bad. It's a chaotic alignment in D anD. d You're <clears throat> like there's no lawful, and there's no. Let's like, talk about chaos magic and how those words came into the zeitgeist when people would have been writing about them in the comic books chaos magic is a term that came into the world that these fucking nerds writing comic books would have been into because these are the same people who would have been into Aleister Crowley and the golden dawn these are the people who would have been into like what we call western magic Mm. and in the 60s uh, and when like new age movements started happening and people started diverging like Western magic into a right hand and a left hand path, right hand being much more like Aleister Crowley's ritual intensity. And like, honestly, it came up out of also like, this is what the, the, like the Nazis were up to. The Nazis were super into right hand Nordic, uh, western magic like if you look at nuremberg rallies they're using sigils i mean like that's and that's like what the fucking swastika is a fucking power sigil SS. like literally literally the nuremberg rally is fucking you put a bunch of a bunch of sigils up so nobody else's power can get into your fucking thing mm-hmm. like that's what they were doing and then we we and then we flash forward to the fucking uh see the the fucking the the conservative rally not long ago that had a big goddamn uh wayfinding home rune. Oh, the the, the Republican yeah. National Convention th- yeah. symbol that the opal yeah. rune. Yeah. 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 Which of which which also are I've got Odo, like Odo. Yeah, it's a Odal sigil. But yeah. those are well and with the with the flares, it's also a, a symbol for home um and for power from your home. They're all over my apartment in the parquet floors. There's like eight of them they're in the corner of every room in my house wow yeah it's intense and but like i mean you know but like depending on again context depending on why you're doing the magic and what you're doing it for and whether you're doing it to fucking control a bunch of people inside your hex or you're doing it to fucking blow out energy and light or a big thing and this is where like magical paths desert to diverge and it gets real woo and you get real like and then left hand path magic becomes very much like listen this is all about fucking we're all about like it gets real eastern and it gets real into like taoist thought hindu thought uh like consciousnesses like living and coming along a web and dropping back in and dropping back out and these are the kind of things where like you know like oh, destiny and like the hero gets reborn and like like uh um like Link's timeline in Zelda is going to be like real, like this level of like yes. wacky magic, yeah. um, like the hero reborn and and such. Um, Final Fantasy fucks around with this. Final Fantasy six fucks around with this stuff hard. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but uh they they sort of split and you get this this faction in the middle that starts calling a thing called us uh, writers like phil hine and um uh pete carroll are writing and things like libernal and um psychonaut some some good magical reading for anybody who wants to get fucking weird with me um basically the idea behind chaos magic is this like look this is all about manifesting and will and like uh you, like crowley's big thing is the, like uh uh will and um there's we can put some required reading in like maybe episode notes or whatever or fucking tweet at me or alex murray I've, i got like, resources nerds um but like and every man and woman a star is his big thing that comes out of like his big his big writing and like so it's it's, it's, it's like concentrates on you making the universe respect what you want and it's basically doing magic at will and mm. a lot of it is it invocating and there's some sigil work and there's you can fucking like i write runes on things and i fucking consult the elements and i scream and i blast that energy off into the universe and that spell goes off to fucking do whatever i wanted to do like get downloads or whatever right, um right. i and but uh, but, but is this that like the manifestation or what's yep, the, it's I mean, like the, the law secret, of, the, law of the, the secret, yes, and like we can get real into the threefold rule comes into the finale in the final battle, I, too. I don't know. I don't know anything about what the you're three, talking about. The threefold, the threefold rule is a huge Wiccan thing and, and uh, would have been real as like very in earth magic. And the threefold rule is very, very simple whatever energy you put out will be returned to you threefold. That's it. Mm -hmm. And like, so like, again, if you're doing dark magic, you have to have shit set up to fucking, you have to pay the Protect price. Right. From and this is, this is where if we want to get real pop culture with it. It's the shit where like, um, fucking, um, Dick Dong has to cut off his hand in Harry Potter five to like bring Voldemort back. Like you have to pay a, pr pay a price. Right. And um, so like doing light magic continues to fulfill you and doing mm -hmm. dark magic fucking has a price. So you've got to go around and, and respond. But the big one, the big the big thing with uh, with chaos is like invocation is this like you invite an idea's power into your body. And that's what I'm ta on about all the time when I'm talking about like you put your Superman shirt on to go flying. And right. it's like I, I used to I used to have a I used to have a stand up comedy bit about getting up every morning and doing BuzzFeed quizzes to know which way my day would go. And like that's chaos magic. Better than a horoscope. Like, it's the same thing. It's chaos magic. It's just me being like, all right, today I'm Wolverine. So you walk around all day fucking acting like Wolverine. And so you're part Wolverine. Calling people bub. Yeah, man. What's up, bub? <laughs> Get out of my hey, hey, bub. Stop the spread, man. People are trying hey, to sit down on the subway. That's a good. Uh, that's actually like a good way of um, for this show. Like, go do BuzzFeed quizzes in the morning yeah. and let us know how your day goes, Please. acting out what what Disney princess you are that day. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that, yeah. that's one hundred percent true. Yeah. In the context of this show, you can see how they're using, I guess, this deeper like real world uh uh progress or, or development of this these ideas in in that 60s era when they were doing doctor strange and everybody was being trying to connect to the to the yeah. astral plane and all yep. that shit yeah and nirvana and meditating yeah man it takes. this is all coming back real hard right now yeah um, but it also has it's like that ouroboros of Yep. pop culture it's now it's now not just eating the pure form that happened back then it's eating the form that exists now with its pop culture variations absolutely and like this is also part of the conversation about me saying like TL television is magic also like you're broadcasting a woman in pants into the universe like you're you just fucking you went into space and you kissed a black lady like that's mm -hmm. that's big shit and everybody fucking saw it and, like that's that's magic, man. That's a giant magical ritual. That's on on par with the Nuremberg rallies on par with any of it. Like they, this show was made and like, and like people are pumped for like the rest of it and what's going to happen next. Well, the, that brings us back to the episode previously on, cause it also reveals the why TV. It was yeah. the thing that she connected with, yeah. with her parents and her brother and they would watch and it became, she was obsessed with it, which I kind of pegged that from the beginning and then, but it was yeah. like genuinely like to see it, like yeah. realized. Also, the fact that her power comes from the mind stone yeah. was a big thing. Right. But it, it didn't, that the, the reveal that it didn't give her anything, it unlocked what yeah. was already there. 
huge metaphor. Well, this is a big thing in, in like, in like, again, Western magic and especially chaos magic is that you're unlocking potential. Like we're all already like, you're just a bunch of fucking vibrations, man. That's pretending to be Mike. And so like, it's about fucking like letting those vibrations get in tune with all the other vibrations and then controlling the weather or whatever the fuck. So let them call you fake. Everybody is fake yep. because we are all pretending to be yep. organized matter. Yeah, man. Um, I also love the the line of um. Oh man, the big line from this one was, "It's not that kind of a show." How do you know? It's not that kind of a show. And like yeah. this is like literally, I kept like what like when my we we're we we're fucking getting ready for my like uh, we we're planning my wedding. My wife was constantly like, "We need a fucking rain plan," and I was like, "We don't. It's not gonna rain." And she was like, "How do you know?" And I was like, "It's not that kind of a show." Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> because I've been living my life this whole time, and in my life, it doesn't rain on my wedding. Hmm. I don't know, man. I've been watching it the whole time, and that doesn't happen. It's not that kind of a show. Uh, isn't it ironic? Bang, boom. Yep. What you think? Um, uh, God, now I want to sing that song. That's not ironic. It's that's not, not ironic. Irony, means, but anyway. Uh, she, uh, that's what, also you get Monica Rambo getting, like, breaking through that block that she has to get her powers. Yep. That, 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 there's a lot of that in this I mean, episode. that's, again, that's force of will. That was like a bunch of people telling her no and her being like, no, I create my own reality and I can go in there and help her and what I care about. And that's her her being powered by empathy and a, a, a quest for understanding, a, a seeker of truth, if you will. Again, I'm just going to keep plugging all my other Cosmic mm -hmm. Traveler and seeker of truth identities in Missing Sock because I'm also on six different shows, motherfucker, yeah. that do different things. Hey, manifest um, yourself a day off, motherfucker. Never. <laughs> um, yeah, um, man. Oh, man. The, the boots. The fucking witch boots, dude. Under the when she blows the witch, witch boots off her. Are we in yeah. the finale yet? No, yeah. not yet. We have. Okay. Uh, we, we, we're getting there. It's going to be a long this, episode. This is, of course. Yeah, no. We're doing yeah. a full fucking season of television. Yeah, 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 yeah. I planned on this being long. Uh, the I probably should have told you. <laughs> nah, I'll um, talk. Listen, bro. We're, we're, this is all I ever want to talk about ever with anyone. I know. Well, we also have. The ult this this is where we get the um, Nexus antidepressant commercial, yep. which to the comic book fans was another big like, Rah! you know, fucking thing of. No, that what, was on episode seven. Um, no, the the, oh, right, right. I'm sorry, but the, I'm referencing that because that's also where we get the Agatha all along and stuff like that yes. happened. We get to see the secondary vision. We get to do all these other things. Oh man, white vision. I've been. You know what? That's so funny. I. You know who, who I where I know like white vision from was the the Nintendo NES mm -hmm. Avengers game. Yep, I was like, right. I was always thought of Vision as being white with like a blue blue laser yeah. from his head. So it shows that she created this vision inside of the her yep. spell. Yep. She He's created fake. it with the pieces of the mind stone that already existed with when she connected with it. She could literally create a mind stone. Yeah. And pretty the, cool. Literally some implications there. Yeah. The fact that um she could create all this vibranium and this matter and all these things because it was real they tracked it it was like yeah. we're tracking two visions there is literally vibranium and so that means that not only is the vibranium real this mind stones real, all this shit she's creating reality which as uh goes reinforces agatha harkness's assertion of her being the scarlet witch yep uh, being of whatever but being able to create spontaneous matter and then also now we get the rebuilt real vision yeah and they need to find a way to power it it's still wanda powering that one because they yep. took it from her yeah from what they're latent to the remaining shit yeah and then now we have the series finale that was one of those there's just a couple times where i was like nah, that could have been what? done a different way i don't know the missile i i don't know oh, you could yeah, have no. you could have powered him another way the like the like put the missile in the box and shoot the like that was just like i mean listen i mean we've we've been doing this show for a hot minute and talking yeah. about this and i'm almost never like bleh, 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 but there was just i mean it was just a little like okay this part i have a feeling there was something done there that needed to be uh something needed i because i don't think it's what they needed to power it i think it's what they needed to activate the programming yeah because the pro because this symbol that the white vision has is the same or very similar to the um thing that, i figured it was a stark reactor i mean that's, stark, i just yes. figured it was it the tiny reactor like 
the nano machine reactor yep. thing that he has in Endgame or Infinity War, uh, both, whatever it is. And um, the the fact that he has a different power source, and then when they face off, it's like, oh, there was supposed to be a big fight, but it's like, no, these are super intelligent beings. That's yeah. their whole thing is that level of like. No, they're, they're, they their big face off is who a thought experiment. Yep, the ship of the what is it? The ship of Theseus. The ship of Theseus. If you replace the parts, is it which one is the real version? Yeah, is it? There's a good the one with a. There's a good one with the axe too at the beginning of John dies at the end and some mm -hmm. other things. It's like, all right, I get a I get an axe and like I have to replace the handle and then I have to replace the head. Uh, is it as it's still the murder weapon from when I killed the thing? Yeah. Anyway. Right. 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 Yeah. And so we have the big face off. We have the big like the city realizing that uh or uh, you know like wanda realizing that she needs to set these people free as she's holding them hostage they all just want to yeah know the, the 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 whole point of that of like she is not the altruistic being that she thinks she is the k the magic she's trying to do to heal herself is hurting those around her it's okay. a whole other big metaphor for like PTSD well, and dealing with trauma and stuff like that, that if you don't address it, it it'll hurt the people around you. That was a yep. whole other thing. Uh, sensitivity is like there, there are, there are five. Okay. To like, just get back on my wizard hut. There mm -hmm. are five big tenets in chaos magic and they, they, because it's easy, like chaos is not necessarily chaos, mm -hmm. um, but it's like taking it and, and, and turning something that looks nonsensical into something that's organized and makes sense mm -hmm. with just creating reality. Um, so like it's confidence, honor, attentiveness, organization, and sensitivity are your five. And like just a real quick, he's like chaos, C H A O S. Uh, oh. if you, yeah. If you, if you drop them down, it's real like confidence is about being in the moment and being uh, powerful and being like present. Um, and being relaxed in that it's a very like Bruce Lee, like water, like, but like, you know, psychic move where like, mm -hmm. you know, or, or like, I mean, um, uh, a stand up on stage who knows his audience and knows, you know, when you have the room, yeah, when you're that's flowing, it, right that's away. confidence, man. That's it. That's magic. Honor is like, uh, is, is making the universe respect, uh, your word. So that it's just like never breaking it. And they're the, some of the silly things that I do is like, you give yourself a rule. My, one of mine is that I make coffee left-handed. I just make coffee left-handed. I always make coffee left-handed because, because I do. And wow. it's just a thing that like I decided and that happens every time. And, uh, and, and it's just like, it's, um, this is akin to it's the real weird. The, the big one is, um, you ever heard about uh, Scientologists screaming at, uh, ashtrays? You put ashtrays? An, yeah, you put an ashtray on a on a on a on a you put an ashtray on a chair and you just okay. scream at it to move. You just go move, move, move. And the idea being that eventually you'll be so powerful that it'll move. Um, but it's you being it's like you it's it's I mean, they're crazy people and this is all crazy. Okay. But, okay. Al Thank you for but that also that's but great. also that's listen crazy. to me. You've never fucking looked at something and told it to do something and it's done it. Oh man, now we're going to get into like uh the what is perceived versus what is in motion. So like how you see it versus how it actually happens. Sure. I'm not saying there has to be a difference. What's the difference? But, yeah. But my thing is, so I do I I'm a big fan of routine. Yep. But for me it's about efficiency. So it's like I do the same thing. I mean, how I, is that? I mean, that's I I let, what I'm let, saying is that oh, let me finish. Let me finish. Yep. Um the, my point being is that like I do the same thing every morning i make yep. coffee however i make it it's just this is the pro like my you 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 build muscle memory you do all like a things. ritual yes but what i'm getting at is that there's no metaphysical reason for it other than yes there is but that's the thing i get to choose that don't i yeah i guess right um, that the whole thing everything you're saying is yeah. about the manifestation of your will yep, my yep, yep. will is to be like I don't believe in magic. Sure. I which I do not. I don't believe in the metaphysical. I don't believe in any of that stuff, but I absolutely believe in the psychological, right? Sure. So the power resides in the believer. The power resides yep. in the in the perce the perception of the believer. So But you're the, still talking about doing this thing to give yourself power. 
doing this thing to achieve a result. Sure. Power the, is the fourth a, is, tenet is organization, by the way, just so you know, we're talking about routine well, and saying, organization. Right. But you're processing it through. That's like when, when, when you talk to somebody about uh, like a, a, an event or whatever, and they're like, well, the Bible says it's like, oh, I don't give a fuck. That's not relevant to me. So sure. what you like what I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying like I'm not dismissing your thing. You that's your thing. But yeah, my yeah, yeah. point being is that it's the the applicability of all of these things. There is an ultimate result, whether it resides in just you or in the physical world, because ultimately it informs how you interact in the physical world. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Right. So, and like, but also you are, you are getting up and you are, you are manipulating and creating and taking responsibility for your own reality absolutely. from like at the beginning of the day, like this is the first, like in AA, the first thing is, is, uh, is the first step in the 12 step program is to surrender to a higher power. Right. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is for you. And theirs tends to be God, which is lame. Um, and uh, as opposed to like, I don't know, the cosmic hum, which is what I'm into. But anyway, uh, the, then what they tell you to do is make your bed every morning because it's just like it gives you a sense of the first thing you get up, you get out of bed, you make your bed. Boom. I'm in control. I'm in charge. Mm -hmm. the, the booze isn't. Um, right. Or and even then, like they, so for people who have anxiety and depression and all yep. that stuff, like one of the first things they Routine's tell you is super important. Take a shower and get dressed in the morning. Yep. Get up, get going and That's like it. put, put something on. And then like, uh, you know, uh, the, the other is a, the A is attentiveness, which is just being aware of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. And then O is organization, which we just sort of talked about, which is like being, you know, like methodical and the power that comes from that. And like, also like, this is also, I get, again, like it's all, it's all, it's all the secret, but like way involved or whatever else you want to do. And like, you know, I get to yeah. light candles and fucking have crystals and shit. And, uh, well, which is the, fun. I have the process of collecting phrases like short, you know, like E equals MC squared explains a ton of stuff. Like sure. there's little phrases in my life that I, I, I guess are like my little spells. If you want to. Yes, through, absolutely. You know, yeah. That. But but that what I'm saying is that to all me, prayer is spells. That's just like every spells. everybody every hey fuckers all of you that are going to church, magicians. You're doing blood magic. All <laughs> yeah, the, the, it's all blood magic. Communion is blood magic. It's 100 blood magic. But, it's but like what I tell myself is that if you want to be lazy, be organized, right? Yeah. So if you want to not have to look for like you, you, the more organized you are, the less work your life is. If I you want to be lazy, way. be honest. Yep. The less you lie, the yep. less you have to remember the lie. Yep. You know, you only have to floss the teeth you want to keep. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, I guess that's all of them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, man. The, the simplified, the, the the like, the distilling something down to its essence, which is a form of, if I were to filter it through the idea of magic, is spells and is like like. Well, that, uh, that's like a name magic. See, this mm -hmm. is stuff that like I'm real into the, the from a couple like if you know something's true name, this is what fucking mm -hmm. uh, uh, Rothfuss really fucks around with in his and like it's just it's an older idea. It's like if you can tell if you can name the wind, then you can control the wind. Right. But just like just like I mean, and the 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 form of name magic that we're all the most familiar with is your mom walking out on the back porch and saying all fucking three of your names is, is her saying David yeah like, it's beetlejuice 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 and yes. like and you fucking you come running man she summons you right yeah, yeah. like true. and that's what that is and that's power and those those names have power and she gave you that name mm -hmm. and like that's these are these are things that they have very real power that we sort of understand and sort of don't because we you know you put that power on there and well, like it's a big thing my... when like you get a nickname we talked about bodega nicknames and like oh, the yeah. fucking superhero nicknames and how powerful all that is like literally all the way back to the words I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. And and one of the things in this in this particular case is that the source of these this name magic and like it's all filtered. Like that's the thing is that my magic c comes from context. That's sure. the whole point of this show is yeah. the magic of what something means to you because it does not mean the same like we were talking about watching Miami Vice watch mm -hmm. a person who did not grow up in Miami in the 80s. Yeah. And just now is watching it as an adult and doesn't understand like what the fuck, uh, you know, like why no, no cell phones, the only landlines thing. Yeah, yeah. you know the, that's a different world for people who have not even who have not known it. So like every on the most minute de detail, you live in a different world than I do. I live in a different world. We than all live brother. in a different world than each other does. Exactly. We all live in our own Pharon. Yeah, man. So, 
So the idea that you like my magic manifests itself in the sharing of stories with the context enough for you to understand it. That's all my comedy was. built. Sounds to me like you're trying to share love and light, buddy. Sounds to me like you're trying to fucking you're trying to to get all the way back into the show that we're we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You're trying to amplify everyone else's power as opposed to steal their power for yourself. And that's what we get into the very that's there's the difference between Agatha and Wanda. Wanda Mm -hmm. doesn't want it. And but but but, well, she's got it. Yes. And what comes with great power, friends? Great responsibility. Like you've got. And oh, like, you said it. You didn't have to. Th- we would yeah. have all been like the. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. I, so back to the show. I mean, with, at the end of the show, there is the um, the un, the na- the raw natural power versus the educated, skilled, yeah. practiced power. Yeah. And then the a bit like there's like in fighting, they talk about like technique can overcome physical strength. Sure. Every but, time physical strength with technique is like unstoppable. Yeah. So when you have Wanda finally learning to bl- to throw like she she looks like she's missing but what she's yeah. doing she's is she's tossing creating, up sigils. Yeah. She's tossing up sigils. Awesome. It was such a like a, a rewarding moment. Also legit of- like the sigils that they used are all fucking fun. Like there's are, those are those are runes. Yeah. And and uh, then also you get the dark hold, you get the full like kind of breakdown of, of like her repurposing her life, the saying goodbye to the creations that she's made with her power. Okay, so there's some stuff that gets said that I want to like talk about magical thinking again too. Mm-hmm. The idea of when she looks at her kids and she says, "Thank you for choosing me to be your mom," is mm-hmm. what like made me weep because there's there's an idea that uh that like again this gets into this like um like indra's web is the idea of the hindu idea of consciousness that like when you're conscious when you die your consciousness goes back up into a web and runs down until it comes to the next empty conduit and then drops into it i mean it's just Mm -hmm. reincarnation stuff Mm -hmm. and so um you know like but you can there's an idea that you can choose like your consciousness wanders around like my consciousness wandered around and was like all right what do i want to be next oh Oh, like Doctor Who always wants to be a ginger. So he decided fucking I, my consciousness was like, yeah, I'll jump into this beardy asshole. I'll mm-hmm. be this guy and we'll see what I learned this time. And, um, and then there's also an idea that inspiration floats around like that, that uh, ideas are like not physical things, but like packets of energy mm-hmm. and that you have a relationship with them. And that if when one gets into you, you either manifest it or you don't, and then you give it up because it needs to be fed. Uh, someone was always going to make Hamilton, but it like it, it floated towards Lin-Manuel Miranda because it yeah. looked like he was the guy who could birth it into the universe. It right? chose, it chose him. And right. so like the idea that they're, they are like, they they needed to be here and they like understand what's happening in a way that she can't because they needed to like do this is very 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 cool now there is the post well let's we'll get to it but the, so then we also yep, we'll get the, into that because we have to we have to, we have to wrap it up you paul bet well paul bet about to say all the best things that anyone's ever oh, said yeah. um so yes we, we could talk about that because they do see like it it does kind of wave through them the collapse of the hex waves you know through them and and disappears well the uh, who's no who knows what i might be next is unbelievable mm -hmm. when he's like i've already been i've been a voice with no body uh what is it i've been a voice with no body um a man with like no past and like a body with no soul uh who knows what i might be next uh, we've said goodbye so many times. It only stands to reason that we'll say hello again. And I was just like, oh, what it's is very, love, very cool. What is First, grief, if not yeah. love persevering? That was yeah. the big one. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what it is. And like, yeah. Um, the, so we have this beautiful touching moment, which I think the like, I think these movies, the acting in these movies often gets overlooked because they're comic book movies and people. talk. But like, I have how- no I have zero time for that. It's such bullshit. They the there were amazing personas, just like like amazing uh, persona, amazing characters and performances uh, portrayed in this comic book show, but told it's, again. And- I just I just have no time for that. Every, everything. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill Maher. All the movies you watch are also fantasy. It's yeah. all made up. You shithead. It's all fake. <laughs> 
but then so then okay like, well, let's do some we gotta anyway. get back to work here because then they start building the mcu shit a scroll tells maria rambo that her a friend of her mom's wants okay to see yeah her. okay we're gonna get into the like uh, what's next. The, the, gets the, arrested. the next time on the yeah. mcu the the next time the the reveal of scrolls that's yep. a whole other thing that's going to come to play later there well, we knew they were around because they were in Spider-Man. exactly but the you know but there's also the reminder of yep. like scrolls because they after the announcement of secret invasion which is a whole other show that's going to be happening that involves scrolls okay there's like there's a ton of groundwork being laid in these shows if you're paying attention right sure. like the they're they're introducing a thing uh, you know f- from the comic books that has the new avengers agatha harkness is now trapped on this plane in that situation with um with her mind stuck in this That's role fun. she's of, just of there this, yeah yeah she just exists um uh, check offs catherine han yeah um fucking great to be used to be used later i cannot wait I cannot now wait. this now to, to my conclusion here I loved the show. She and the fucking here's my legit prediction. She and the fucking little sister who I, I really hope is the next Black Panther. I don't know what they're doing, but oh, uh, right. yeah. end up end Three. up fucking kicking purple ass together all over the place somewhere. Anyway, that's what um, I want to say. That's what I want to say. That's what I'm manifesting right now. Sure. Do that um, for me, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, listening, Kevin. Fe- I mean, I emailed Kevin Feige. He'll respond shortly. Um that's cool. I send a sigil off into the universe to do my bidding. We do we do we work in different ways, brother. What an email is. <laughs> the You um, you put a bunch of shapes on a fucking field and you fucking hit send and it went whoosh, and you hoped something would happen. All right, man. Or you just write a fucking email. <laughs> it's it's the, Or you just did some magic. Um, not a big deal. Yes, of course. Everybody's doing it all the time. Yes. It is also the result of of many many people's intelligence using science to create these things you know you're like saying the those, same thing as me you're saying the same thing as me think, i think that that too much magical thinking devalues human contribution to society it's a fucking this is like a really big thing in magical thinking in like in like academic magical thinking to be a oh total boy. absolute uh, twat. oxymoron um no <laughs> No, Al- alchemy beget science. Shut up. Mm. <laughs> alchemy beget astronomy beget all of it. Okay. Um, uh, is that like you got to be careful to fucking not think that you're actually like you to not think that you're better than other people because it's really easy to think that fucking oh I'm a magic man and this is like this happens with like uh, I mean this is the the fucking what happened to uh, homegirl. Uh, it's what happened to Agnes when yeah. she starts thinking that every oh your rules bent to my power that right. is an insanely dangerous thing to think and this is the sort of this is the sort of thing the thinking that allows you a priest to just do whatever you horrible want yeah. to the fucking whatever pick a horrible thing I won't even we can go all the way back I've been li- like listening position. to this stuff about the yeah or like you move the papacy to Avignon during the Black Plague because that's where all the good hookers are and you want to fuck them all. And so now you've infected all the priests with Black Plague. And when they go out to fucking deliver last rites all over Europe, look what they just did. They just spread the plague everywhere and killed more people. Um, that's the- for you, Christian camps in Texas. Get vaccinated. My my pr- my the, the my my point about that is the idea of there's a danger in that that happens with any kind of religion or any kind of like um, metaphysical thinking that you are now applying your thing to the actions of others when they are not doing this they are not burdened by the same thinking you are so when you are telling me like when I'm like I'll send an email and then you put something else on it and you're like no that's what it is is dangerous to me because then that's the same thing of like oh i'm just gonna i'm gonna get gay married to my husband and we love each other and live a life and it's like that's a sin and it's not allowed according to my magical thinking and then it becomes the thing of do you impose your magic on others i'm talking about i'm talking about the exercise not the fucking morality right i'm talking about i'm talking about the execution i'm talking the about dogma that, and i'm talking about yes. dharma and you're talking about uh like something else i'm talking about how like you trying to, everyone trying to get stuff 
done is the same whatever skin you put on top of it. Right. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the impetus, like because you're talking about like, that that the person in your metaphor has morally failed because they think that they're better than other people. That's right. the big thing you don't yeah, I'm just, do. I'm just reiterating what you yeah. said in, in a way that that I that yeah. I and because and I think because I think that like if you if you take the take the magic out of it, you take metaphysics. If you if you live a life without metaphysics, what you're what you tend to forget is how fucking connected people are and right. how how every single like you start and like you can use chaos string fucking energy theory if you want but it's just like if you if you get all the way down like we keep the the further we go down into atoms we just get into vibrations man yeah. and so quantum like entanglement, and quantum entanglement shit. man and like like you know like we're connected to everything yeah. and it's and like that like if you if you ask me yeah, that's, what, that's, that's what that's what moses was experiencing on top of whatever fucking weird trip he was having talking to right. some talking to god which he like was like i don't know man the bush was like uh uh, on Burning? fire because <laughs> yeah. that's all i have to fucking describe looking at god right um I, and I told and that's that's my point that's why i say i love this i i there will never be a time where psychology does not play the only thing that's real to me is your interactions with the world around you and the other beings around you are part of that you know like yeah. you can't and th but the thing is is that like the web of thought that you were talking about they have their own web they have their like it's this fractal existence yeah the, but the more you learn about all the webs the more the webs all seem to be the same thing you know what i mean like the more the the more you fucking zoom out or the more you zoom in the the clearer and blurry you're talking about a camera zooming in or out right the focus, so like yeah. like the focus like a microscope lens of going in or out and like you know, like which bit are we looking at? So you can look at things that happen on like a mid level or a macro level or a micro level. And um, like, you know, like yeah. that's and it like all the, involves, the yeah. more you do that. And the more you like go like, all right, this, okay, let's look at this religion and like th this other ritual. Let's look at these rituals that people were doing in Africa mm -hmm. nine, uh, 3000 yeah. years ago. And let's look at these rituals that people were doing in South America 3000 years ago. And you're like, huh, the fucking same yeah yeah um so there's like well, something intrinsic in there and, and like that's, that's to be respected acknowledging the fact that <laughs> there's more that we don't know than we do and that's that's also like a very real thing now in terms of this show again and then the danger in magical thinking is that like you yeah. you you're not acknowledging that exactly and in this show what my biggest so context, great yeah my <laughs> biggest context issue with this show and it has a lot to do with the weekly release is that pop culture now has <sighs> the response on yeah. YouTube the next day mm -hmm. where people start making assumptions and declarations about what they think should happen next, not about what happened. Oh boy. I mean, yeah, that so either, everybody's was, manifesting something else and it gets mad when their fucking magic doesn't win. Do you know I what did the waves so hard and my football team still lost? This is bullshit. Do you know what, who this person is? I know who Mephisto is sort of a little bit in the comic. Oh book. yeah. No, I absolutely know who Mephisto he's he, he in the comic books. He's hanging out next to Thanos most of the time in the infinity war. No, no different guy. This is guy. This is the guy who's like the devil. Uh, he Mephisto does have, does have something with Thanos, but the, the That's a picture of Mephisto standing next to Thanos. <laughs> Because of a deal that happens in that story, I'm talking about for the Scarlet Witch. There's, there's a, there's. Well, he's dressed the same as her. They, he is like the devil version of the devil yes. and all that stuff. But Mephisto was also a part of like creating the the shards of um, himself as her children at some point in the story. Okay. So her children, like every, they were desperate to see what they wanted to see in this show and everything was like is it mephisto oh there's an m on the thing is it mephisto and then oh it's like a devil is it mephisto and then every week every week there was a new mephisto a new Mephi everyone and mephisto confirmed and and there was this constant kind of thing and this is basically talking about like your interpretation of magic and all this stuff, that that idea of of manifesting and putting it out into the world and then it was not Mephisto. There was nothing as yeah. of yet that has shown anything about Mephisto in the show. But every week there was another. My favorite one, my favorite show. That's funny. My favorite uh, YouTube channel to look is, is uh, 
um, Screen Crush with uh, Ryan Airy, right? I love his style of breaking things down. And he does a lot of these video essays on different aspects of pop culture and the MCU and nerd culture. And he does a very good job of balancing it out. But even he was like Mephisto. Is it Mephisto? And everybody was like Mephistoed out and just jerking off Mephisto. Like, That's why oh, I like yeah. to stay out of it. <laughs> and then it didn't happen. And there was some like, backlash because the you the they built so much expectation which again i think is a danger of magical thinking if like something doesn't go your way it reminds me of the parks and rec hail zorp i mean if you're doing it right if something didn't go your way it wasn't supposed to go your way (laughs) wonderful hindsight you know being 2020 all of those i mean it's not even that it's just like if you're plugged in right like you you if you're plugged in again to the the like vibes then like you know things things don't always like your what's better and best and what you want is not always like what's going to happen I mean, i've been saying this shit for for months now about right, people but my, but wanting talking, something to happen yeah but you were talking about like the the this bends to my will yeah like that idea that, yeah but my will's not my will my will is what the universe needs my will exactly to but what i'm saying is that if you're tuned into if you're if you're doing that thing where you want the world to bend to your will in my interpretation of that what the 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 lower level of like you know the stakes couldn't be lower is mcu movies and shit like that sure you're building expectation yeah you're building this idea this i don't i don't think that's low stakes by the way i think that's high stakes and i think it's a problem it's like it's one of the things that i hate about preview culture I don't like it. A hundred percent. And that's what you get with the fucking Star Wars toxic yeah, fandom. All of it. That's what you get with Just all these people things. screaming at each other over and, what? And you can people like, are, as, like it's people trying to here we go. People trying to take power from other people mm-hmm. instead of enjoy some instead of all partake in a ritual together, mm-hmm. glean something from it, all become more powerful and move forward. Absolutely. And that's instead of issue. instead of learning from it. Instead this of letting it teach you something and letting you feel something from the experience and moving yeah. forward is a better, more full, more, more fucking high vibe yeah. collection of glue ons. And that's what this show taught me is that that that's one of the revelations I had when watching this show. I love the week to week release because we get to talk about it and have fun. That's fun. I'm on a text thread with a bunch of people where we're like, oh, this is great. And whenever anybody veers into that, oh, here's what I think is going to happen. I'm like, you're probably going to be wrong. My but- big one is uh, the Adventure Zone, man. Like, that's like the the Adventure mm-hmm. Zone and then um, Dungeons and Daddies are like two of my, like, the things that I look forward to coming out every two weeks and, like, am excited about and, like, have, like, been with for years now. And, like, I just had to, like, I can't, I have, like, three friends, our friend Brendan and, like, mm-hmm. some other people that I talk to about it. I'm like, and I always want to enjoy it with people, but, like, especially after this last season of Taz, people just got pissed. Yeah. People were like, you're not doing it right. And I was like, what do you mean they're not doing it right? Of course they're doing it right. They're the ones doing it. And exactly. since this is the way they're doing it, this is right. You can like read or Cat's not Cradle, like- you fucks. You don't have that's what I'm saying is that at a certain point, you don't have the power over other people. So the more you build that expectation of being able to dictate other people, taking other people's will away, which is a very big thing in the show, mm-hmm. the, revel- the revelation of her- when Wanda is has like doomed these people to live these hollow existences and they're hate they're 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 feeling every bit of her hurt and her grief. Mm-hmm. They feel it. Oh yeah, that that concept is not lost on me in the reality of how your building expectations around something as big as the MCU. Like you're what, making it hard to enjoy this guys. You're <laughs> ruining it for yourself. You're yeah. ruining it for yourself. So that's my big lesson to take away from this is yeah. the building of expectation is the bad part of Wanda's magic. The, the opening yourself up to the vibrations and all that stuff and learning at the extent of all of that energy. Like you say that you guide yourself by the energy of, of the, that's your motivation. I try is my good- my dumb little phrase is that i uh i i think i tend to try uh i get people a lot of like man you're lucky with that and i'm like no uh the universe has my my best interest in mind because i try to keep the universe's best interest in mind well luck is just putting yourself in the right place for things to happen what a cute little spell that you just did yeah you know what i mean like that's yeah. what it is all sure. of those all of like all of um you know like it's all about your your exerting control over your own existence and 
there's a million ways to skin that. Or letting, of... letting go of the illusion of it. Exactly. And there's being aligned no... with your will, which is not necessarily what you want, but is the impetus of your being and what you are going to do no matter what. Now I'm getting into. God grant me the strength to change the things that I can. Yeah. And uh, the knowledge to know that the, the things that I can't. Yep. And the wisdom to know the difference. Yep. For or sure. Or whatever the saying is. Yeah, man. And, that's yeah. You know where that's from, right? Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's to come the all the way back. Yeah. That's it. Oh, uh, man. This was a very long episode, but yeah. it was great. And it was a, a full season of television. We missed a ton of stuff. There's a ton yeah, of, of stuff did. we didn't talk about, but I love the. This is the the context in which we live in is the stuff that we like and what these shows mean to us and what the MCU means to us. And I mean, the, this is going to go up on YouTube. Uh, um, I would like to eventually do this live. We should do this. Sure, man. Why not? And um, so we can get comments. You want to do Falcon and the Wilkins Winter Soldier live? Let's Absolutely. do it. Stay Let's tuned, friends. Stay tuned. Yeah. Follow follow the Missing Sock Network on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, mm -hmm. Follow uh, Mike Contextualizes. Uh, God damn. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Mike Contextualizes Oof. the universe. Uh, well, I'm, I'm in your hex right now, man. I do yeah. not know. My magic is not working. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me at Mike Mercadol on all social media at R. Alex Murray. Hey, look at that. Mine's media. right there, too. And uh, you can do all of the the social media things, but we would love to hear your opinions and your context and like what it all means to you. Leave and, a comment. Uh, leave a comment. And also, if you follow us, we're going to start going live with these video shows. If you're listening to the audio version of this, get on leave the Leave a review. Le yeah, absolutely leave a review. If you, if, um, you're, if you enjoyed the podcast version, great. Please <laughs> tell friends. <laughs> And uh, as always, thank you to all of you for joining us. Thank, uh, listen to the shows on the Missing Sock Podcast Network. Uh, Snack Face, listen to I like all of them. <laughs> yeah, listen to listen to. Uh, um, uh, I have a question with Amanda Van Nostrand. Man, listen. the one that just came out, it's all about consent, and it's real good. Yeah, really good. Uh, that's like the legit show on our show. That is like life skills and real world stuff that I, I like. Listen to that one and then come listen to Child's Play and then come listen to us talk about WandaVision. Um, thank you all we're for all, this. We're all talking about the same thing. We're all talking and... about how to get along and understand each other better and more <laughs> and coexist. Um, uh, what is uh, the MCU, if not capitalism, persevering? Thank you all for listening. Bye-bye. It thinks it is. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs>